Now let's see the example in terms of decimal subtraction. So the question which we have over here is we go to subtract 2 from 3.5. If the term from is indicated or represented in question, it is mean that the term which is after from that is 3.5 will be considered as the first term followed by the term which is before the term from. So we have mentioned 2. Since 2 is considered as a whole number, in order to compensate it as a decimal number, we have mentioned 0. So now both the terms are equal. When subtracting 5 minus 0, it's 5. Subtracting 3 from 2, that is 3 minus 2, it's 1. So the answer is 1.5. Let's move on to the next example. So the question is, we go to subtract 5.5 from 9. So we have mentioned 9 by adding up 0 and the second term is 5.5. When we are subtracting 0 from 5, 0 cannot be subtracted from 5. So we tends to borrow. When we borrow the previous term that is 9 becomes 8 and we'll be getting 1. Now the term is considered as 10. On subtracting 10 minus 5, the value is 5. Since 9 becomes 8, subtracting 8 minus 5, the answer is 3. So the overall answer is 3.5. Let's move on to the other examples in terms of decimal subtraction. So the question which we have over here is 3.5. 67 minus 1.83 so solution is we have mentioned 3.67 minus 1.83 when we subtract 7 minus 3 it's 4 6 cannot be subtracted from 8 so we are trying to borrow when we borrow 3 becomes 2 and we'll be getting 1 over here now the term is considered as 16 16 subtracted from 8, the answer is 8. And subtracting 2 minus 1, it's 1. So the answer is 1.84. Let's move to the next problem. The question which we have is 24 minus 8.327. The solution is, we have mentioned 24 along with the decimal places. Since 24 is a whole number in the question, we have added 3 zeros. So when we subtract, since 0 cannot be directly subtracted from 7, so we are trying to borrow. When we borrow, 4 becomes 3 and we will be getting 9, 9 and 1 over here. Now when we subtract, it's 10 minus 7, that's 3. 9 minus 2, it's 7. 9 minus 3, it's 6. Since this was 3, we are borrowing 1 from the previous term. When we borrow, this 2 becomes this two becomes 1 and we'll be getting 1 over here. So now the term is 13. 13 getting to be subtracted from 8, the answer is 5. So this 1 is over here. The answer is 15.673. So this is how subtraction in decimals will be taking place. Hope you got an idea of addition and subtraction of decimals. Thank you for watching this from GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Thank you.